Hell no. Is this? I don't believe this. And the film surgeon. We are back in the attic <clears throat> with another hot film to dissect. We got a game of cat and mouse, Tom and Jerry, coming to us from HBO Max, and um, <clears throat> you know what to do. Go ahead and hit us with that sponsorship. And as always, let's jump right into our film review. For a children's film, I and for what Tom and Jerry is, I enjoyed this. This is a personal enjoyment. Uh, that being said, it is hard to make a move, a whole movie about Tom and Jerry because really it's just hijinks, kind of Three Stooges comedy, <laughs> comedy uh, blips. And so you got to make the movie about something else. And the something else that the movie about was stupid. <laughs> I agree. And I'm just going to add to it to say that I thought that exact same thing, like, like, an hour in, I'm like, bro, is this really gonna be two hours of just hijinks? <laughs> and then they change directions. I'm like, when the when the fuck were they friends? What when the fuck were they ever becoming? Oh, they have to just extend the story. Okay. <laughs> All right, I see it. Uh, so yeah, I do agree. Yeah. So it's it's hard. It you know, it's hard to be asked to make a movie about Tom and Jerry because of what Tom and Jerry is. And so like, I don't want to discount what they were able to kind of pull off and do here. I, you know, just starting simply with the story, it was dumb. Girl, you know, it, it I'm not gonna spoil it. It was stupid. Um, it made no sense. <laughs> the directory and the changing of the story made no sense. And then, you know, obviously it's a kid's movie, so it has to have a happy ending. Still didn't make no sense. Um, so the story is not a strong suit here. Animation-wise, I thought bringing them into the real world, they did a fantastic job. I know for all those extras on scene trying to react to when Tom and Jerry are running by them might have been a little weird <laughs> because there's nothing actually going past you. <laughs> there's absolutely... But they're professionals. I gotta give them their credit. They're professionals. Because <laughs> there's actually nothing there. <laughs> um... So yeah, uh, so animation wise, I thought the animation was pretty good. Um, uh, effects sets were pretty good uh, for what they were. Um, as far as the acting, there's, I like Michael Pena and everything, I think it's hilarious, but I, there's no one that like, oh my God, it just stood out to me acting wise. Um, Cause again, they're talking to imaginary people. Uh, <laughs> It's hard to stand out doing that. Um, so yeah, I mean, just for what this film kind of was, other than just me, you know, liking Tom and Jerry and liking the fact that I know what this is about, um, there's not much here. Um, as far as like my my diagnosis, my actual diagnosis, I, I gotta give this film B minus C plus at the most. Um, it, it, it wasn't great, but I'm not gonna say it's great, but what I will say is it's a good film that you can watch with your kids and your family and not get too caught up into, uh, and the story won't be good, just so you know. So, I mean, that's all I can really. Well, for me, I wish I was a kid again because I try and see all these <laughs> kid movies from the perspective of kid enjoy this. Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> like, <and Warner Brothers. laughs> like even for a classic, this is a classic TV show made into a movie. I just feel like a lot more time could have been given to the the jokes of it, where it's funny to adults that really it's going to be appealing to that that came from that era and that time of watching it. That it was kind of you know walking on the wire and getting shocked okay blah blah but you really the times have changed where you could have stepped up the jokes where it's funny um i i like colin jokes uh colin jost and i like his jokes um in general his his sense of humor and i like his 
pun where he was like, uh, oh, please excuse the animals. They're a little animated right now. Uh, and I was like, oh, that's a comedian. I got that. I don't know if anyone else did, but I was, it was funny. Um, I like the animated version of the animal uh, of uh, Tom and Jerry, but did every goddamn animal in this fucking movie need to be animated? <laughs> yes. I thought I saw an animated ant walk by. I said, is that an animated ant? Like, why is everything, they had an animated flea, a a gnat? Think about it, think about it like this. Think about it like this, right? If Tom and Jerry were the only animals that were animated and and everything else was live, it would look weird and you would be criticized. I I get that, but at the same point, it's just don't include a shit ton of animated animals inside the movie. Like, they are the main focus. But I get it, it's with the story you're telling. He wanted to have all these animals and blah, blah, blah. But when an animated tiger ro- rode out there and I was just like, bro. And I get like, <laughs> because he actually comes from the show and the cat, blah, 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 the little prissy female cat, blah, that, that was fine. But I, it just felt, I don't know, it was just too much. And, and then I started to ask myself, well, what if they had a realistic animation, kind of similar to like a, a Sonic the Hedgehog? And I said, no, that would take away from the nostalgia of the cartoon version of Tom and Jerry. Um, I like M- Michael Pena, I like Chloe, uh, Chloe Grace Moritz. Laura Moritz. <laughs> um, so I like both of them as actors, but to sell comedy, like Michael Pena, yeah, he could sell comedy, but he didn't sell this, like this. Like I'm looking at the comedy that he sold in Ant Man. Good. This it, it's just like cheesy humor. Well, he's supposed to be kind of a a, a bad guy here, so it's but it's cheesy funny. humor. That's what I'm saying. It's not. It is. I, it's I a hate. Kids movie. I hate. It's but movie. but you. But like I said, it's, it's appealing to the adults that came from that kids movie kind of era. I think kids will want to watch this. Kids would enjoy this because they don't think get about down. it. Like I don't get down on that cheesy. Uh, kind of humor. Boing, ding, oh, you. That's Tom and Jerry, right? That That is Tom and Jerry. Not from the acting of the humans. That mm-hmm. From the acting of those those hijinks between them, yeah, great, awesome, that's them. But there's if you take away the fact that it's Tom and Jerry, and I just look at all these other kids' movies where I see that same kind of stupid, cheesy humor, it's not something that's brand new just because it's in Tom and Jerry. It's it's inside of a lot of kids' movies where it's just like, this is so stupid. Like, how are kids enjoying this? Um, you gotta take you, it. Start off with your first statement. You gotta go back to being a kid to understand it. Yeah, but even when I look at like some kids' movies by Pixar, and I'm choosing Pixar because they, they don't ever do any fucking wrong with movies with kids. They're phenomenal. Kids enjoy them. Adults enjoy them. It, and you can laugh your ass off through a lot of Pixar movies. And this one is just like, oh my God, it, this is stupid. But uh, because I like Tom and Jerry, I'm gonna watch it. Like, like I just had to bring myself to it. And it's not to say anything bad. I'm just saying that they could have done better. So for me, nah. What's your diagnosis? Ah, you know, cause I feel like I would have to give it for the perspective of Obviously, I'm have to give it a, a review for anybody that's watching it, but I also just want to give it towards the review of if it's a good movie. So in that case, I would say like B minus. Would could you sit down there and watch it with your kids, or your kids watching and be like, oh, this is so stupid, but it's funny, it's so funny, but blah blah blah. Like maybe they'll see it as being like an A minus, but it's not a far stretch, B minus to an A minus. That's a whole. That's a huge jump. Uh, it is. It, it's not. It's. It is, but it isn't. It's like I'm just rating because the stupid humor is just. It, you leave Jerome A. Mouse and Tom Cat alone. Oh my god! I didn't even know they had last names. I'm like, oh, bro, this is. <laughs> uh yeah, this Tom and Jerry. Uh, watch it with your family. It's a. It's a family. It's film. a family film. It is a family film. Uh, I'm about looking to watch okay, it. I'll put this on as a Netflix and chill, oh, chill movie because I ain't gonna watch it, but uh, we will chill. Um, but <laughs> yeah, this is a popcorn I'm, movie. It's in on Netflix. It, it's definitely uh, you bring a girl over and turn on Tom and Jerry. She gonna look at you like, are you okay? I'm like, bitch, you ain't watching this. <laughs> Go on and get it. Go on and get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do. Yeah, it, it's definitely a family film. You can sit down and watch it with your family, your kids. Your kids can sit down and watch it. 
uh, that's all it is. You know, that's yeah. that's what it's worth. Uh, I, for me, even for somebody that's a big fan of Tom and Jerry, I don't think I could watch it again. Uh, even if I was watching with my kids, if it became like Frozen that they watched like a hundred times, I'm like, bro, you're grounded. You're, you can't watch it. <laughs> we're not watching this movie. I know it's the third time, but we're not watching it. It, it, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. And it could have been better. But uh, that, that's all that we really have. Do you have any final thoughts before we close out here? No final thoughts. Shout out to Tim Story. Shout out to Tom and Jerry. HBO Max hit us with that sponsorship. And as always, it's been your boy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't forget. Tell the audience. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Right. Hit that bell. Do all that jazz. Email me. I don't care. Send smoke signals. Uh, regular mail. Write a letter. Put it inside of the, the mail to the U.S. Post Office. Whatever you want to do. Go on and hit us up. Let us know what you guys think. And as always, this has been another exciting episode of... Okay. Okay. You're... Okay. No. Okay. Uh I'm not doing it. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I would not partake in these shenanigans. Okay, you're not going to reel me in. Join us in another exciting episode of Film Addict. Film Addict.